let's shoot for the second question on the weekly contest 277 and the question that we have is rearrange array elements by sign here in this question we are given an array of integers wherein elements can be positive in nature and negative in nature it is also given that the length of the array will be always even in nature and it will it will have equal number of positive and negative elements also there will be no element that is equal to zero it is given in one of the constraints the range is starting from one up till 10 raised to per 5 the modulus value of that numbers uh, what we need to do we need to re rearrange this input array such that every consecutive pair of integers have opposite sign that means the first one should be positive next one should be negative followed by positive negative positive negative for all the integers with the same sign the order in which they are present should be preserved the rearranged array should always begin with a positive integer we need to return that modified array after we have after we are done with the rearrangement so i'll walk you through the approach to go about it by the presentation and i'll also explain the example uh, that is specified here so let's quickly move on to the ppt we'll be using a two pointer approach to solve this question the question is not that difficult i hope you guys are able to do it by yourself but in case not i am there for you rearrange array elements by sign lead code 2149 so let's take the same example that was specified in the question we have the numbers as 3 1 minus 2 5 2 minus 4 so what do we do we recreate a new array and we create three pointers the first one is for iterating over the input array the second one is for storing the positive indexes the second one and the third one is storing the negative indexes the positive index will start from 0 the negative index will start from 1 let's get started with the iteration the first element that we see is 3 so we'll use a positive index to store 3 in our output array uh, 3 being a positive in nature hence we are using the positive index so 3 gets started at 0 after the addition we'll increment the positive index by 2 pointers so 0 plus 2 gives me 2 let's proceed ahead next we see is 1 1 again happens to be positive in nature we'll use the positive index array and we'll make an insertion at 2 so 1 gets added at location 2 we'll increment the pointer by 2 and it gets updated to 4 let's proceed ahead next we see is minus 2 minus 2 is negative in nature we'll use the negative index and the value held at negative index is 1 so we'll insert minus 2 at 1 this gets updated after the iteration to 3 Let's proceed ahead. Next we see is minus 5. We'll use the negative index and we'll insert minus 5 at 3. After the insertion, we'll increment it by 2. Let's proceed ahead. Next we see is for 2. 2 is positive in nature. We'll use the positive index. The value held in the positive index is 4. So we'll insert 2 at 4. You'll increment it to 6. Let's proceed ahead. Next we see is minus 4. Minus 4 is negative in nature. You'll use the negative index and the value held is 5 so you'll insert minus 4 at 5th location you're done with the iteration you have appropriately built in your output array uh, in the output array in the final arrangement it's it's alternatively positive negative positive negative positive negative it starts with the positive integer in the first go also the relative order of positive elements is preserved we have 3 1 2 here also we have 3, 1 and 2. With respect to the negative, the order of negative numbers, it starts from minus 2, minus 4, minus 5, minus 4. The relative order, uh, relative ordering is still preserved. Minus 2, minus 5 and minus 4. The time complexity of this approach is order of n. And we are also using extra space for building the answer. So space complexity is also order of n. Let's quickly walk through the coding section and conclude this question. So here I have taken three pointers, uh, the first one for iterating over the array, next one is the positive index and the th third one is the negative index. So I have also built my answer array like this and let's start the iteration if my element happens to be positive in nature, I make an insertion at the positive index and increment the positive index by 2. Similarly if my uh, element happens to be negative in nature, I make an insertion at the negative index and increment the negative index by 2. In the end, I simply return my answer array. So let's try this up. Accepted. The time complexity and space complexity we have already discussed. 
is equal to order of n this brings me to the end of today's session i hope you enjoyed it if you did please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel thanks for viewing it